Draymond Green gets indefinite suspension from the NBA wildcard complaints of omission from award. And in football, it's another worry for Eric Ten Hag as Manchester United play Liverpool this weekend. Good morning and welcome to another exciting edition of Sports Trip. I am Olujimi Dario Ogun saying welcome to the show. It's midnight. You're on an important call. Suddenly you hear... You have one minute remaining. You quickly check your wallet. <laughs> and there's no cash. <laughs> what if you could recharge without cash and even get some bonus? No on credit? No problem. Recharge your MTN line by downloading my MTN NG app. Or dial star 904 hash to buy airtime directly from your bank account. Anytime, any day. And enjoy a 15% bonus on every recharge. Yes, it's that easy. MTN. What are we doing today? Hey, my name is Alex. Uh, I've been a content creator for a while now, and I always try to innovate to keep my audience entertained and engaged. When 5G came into Nigeria, I thought it was all noise, you know, like the normal high dengue and all that noise. But <laughs> boy, was I wrong. Because I've hosted virtual concerts, partied with my followers in the metaverse, created skits with creators in other countries without ever having to leave my room. I can shoot a movie without being on set. Hey, now that's a godsend. With all the money I've spent on cabs this year, <laughs> if there's one thing 5G has done right, I would say it's made it easier for me to do me. Change the game with MTN 5G. It offers hyper-fast internet speed, seamless buffering, and applications that can only be possible via its quality data capabilities. Available on broadband and mobile. MTN, Nigeria's number one 5G network. What are we doing today? we we'll begin with athletes where Josh Carr admits he was definitely disappointed not to be shortlisted for the BBC Sport Personality of the Year award. The Scots won 1,500 meter gold at the World Championship in Budapest this year, and his omission from the six-person shortlist was criticized by President of World Athletics, Lord Cohn, and Scottish Athletics. Can, however, we attend the ceremony to support athletics. Quoting him, he says, It is such an amazing year, but there is nothing really I can do about it. I am definitely disappointed. I've always been told that when it comes to selection, then leave them with no doubt and i obviously left them with some doubt so that is on me we have such an amazing year of sports coming up next year that i'm going to be looking to prove myself again and hopefully i can be in contention to be in that top six next year and of course just on the shortlist are cricketers start broad jockey frankie de Tory, england footballer mary Epps, michelle tennis player alpha Howard, epsilon katarina johnson thompson and gopha roy mackerel now to basketball, Golden State Warriors for Draymond Green has been suspended indefinitely after striking phony songs player Yusuf Nokic in the face. Green was ejected for a third time this season in the Warriors 119 to 116 defeat. The NBA said that has given him a rare open-ended ban because of his repeated history of unsportsmanlike acts. The league said that a three-year-old would be required to meet certain league and team conditions before he's required to return to play. The incident is the latest of a long line of disciplinary incidents involving Green. He was also given a five-game ban for putting Minnesota as a Bowie center with the good bats in the headlock on November 14. The forward was also ejected for two technical fouls against Cleveland Cavaliers earlier in November and was suspended during playoff in April after stamping on Sacramento Kings player Dumantas Subanis. He was two months suspended for game five of the 2016 NBA Finals against the Cleveland Cavaliers for a low blow against LeBron James. Still in basketball after failing to pick the 2024 Olympic Games ticket, Nigeria's Day Tiger is expected to be back in action in February 2024. FIBA Africa has released the official draw and date for qualifiers later to begin next year. According to the draw earlier conducted, the Tiger is placed in Group B. The first window will take place from February 19 to 27, 2024. It will see the entry of Group B, E and D. Group A and C will first place their qualifying window from November 18 to 26 of 2024. The final window of these qualifiers will take place from from February 17 to 25 of 2025. And now to football on the home scene, Syria Jean Juventus have reportedly identified by Leverkusen's Victor Boniface as a replacement for their forward Dusan Vlaovic. The Bianconeri have been trying to negotiate a new deal with Vlaovic in recent weeks. Talks with Vlaovic and Torej have, however, moved slowly and he may not be willing to accept a lower salary in the next long-term contract. Juventus may opt to sell the Serbian next summer and bring in Boniface. According to Gazzata dello Sport, Juventus director Cristiano Grutoli is also a fan of Boniface and is targeting the move for the striker. The 22 year old has scored 14 goals and provided 7 assists in 21 appearances across all competitions for Bayern Munich this season. He's valued at 40 million euros by transfer markets. 
Still on the home scene, Nigerian born defender Imo Okon has been named the South African 15 man provisional squad for the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. Bafana Bafana head coach Hugo Bruce announced the list on Thursday afternoon. The Belgium must bring down the list to 27 players by January 7, 2024. Okon, who was born to a Nigerian father, is one of the eight defenders on the roster. The 19 year old has been invited twice by South Africa in the past, but is yet to make his debut for the former African champions. The centre back is enjoying a fine season with South African club Super Sport. United, South Africa will face Tunisia, Mali and Zambia in Group E at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. Finally, on the home scene, former Cote d'Ivoire forward Solomon Kalou believed the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be a tough nut to crack for the relevance at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. The host nation is joined in Group A with Nigeria Super Eagles. The two giants of African football will clash at the Alassane Quattara Stadium and BP Abidjan on January 18. Equatorial Guinea and Guinea-Bissau are the other two teams in Group A. Kalou labelled the Super Eagles as dangerous opponents and proceeded that the group will be a difficult one. Kutinemi says, firstly, it is a group made up of very good teams started with Nigeria, which is a very dangerous side. At the AFCON, the Super Eagles showed great potential. During the last edition, Equatorial Guinea did well. Guinea-Bissau may be the surprise of the group. We will have to respect all these teams and above all, win the first match to start the competition well because it's where everything starts from. And of course, Cote d'Ivoire will use the 34th edition of the AFCON finals from January 13 to February 11, 2024. It's midnight. You're on an important call. Suddenly you hear... You have one minute remaining. You quickly check your wallet. <laughs> and there's no cash. <laughs> what if you could recharge without cash and even get some bonus? No on credit? No problem. Recharge your MTN line by downloading my MTN NG app. Or dial star 904 hash to buy airtime directly from your bank account anytime, any day. And enjoy a 15% bonus on every recharge. Yes, it's that easy. MTN. What are we doing today? Hey, my name is Alex. Uh, I've been a content creator for a while now, and I always try to innovate to keep my audience entertained and engaged. When 5G came into Nigeria, I thought it was all noise, you know, like the normal high, dengue, and all that noise. But <laughs> boy, was I wrong. Because I've hosted virtual concerts, partied with my followers in the metaverse, created skits with creators in other countries without ever having to leave my room. I can shoot a movie without being on set. Hey, now that's a godsend. With all the money I've spent on cabs this year. <laughs> if there's one thing 5G has done right, I'd say it's made it easier for me to do me. Change the game with MTN 5G. It offers hyper fast internet speed, seamless buffering, and applications that can only be possible via its quality data capabilities. Available on broadband and mobile. MTN, Nigeria's number one 5G network. What are we doing today? weekend again in Europe this weekend as Nottingham Forest take on Tottenham on sports today in the English Premier League. Tomorrow is Bournemouth against Luton Town, not forgetting Manchester City against Crystal Palace, Newcastle against Fulham, as well as Burnley against Everton. And on Sunday, Arsenal will take on Brighton, Brentford against Aston Villa, West Ham United against Wolves, Liverpool against Manchester United is the pick of the bunch in the English Premier League. In the Spanish La Liga, is Valencia against Barcelona, Sevilla against Getafe, Athletic Club against Atletico Madrid, not forgetting Real Madrid against Villarreal on Sunday and in the Italian Serie A. Later today is Genoa against Juventus, Napoli against Cagliari, AC Milan against Monza, Bologna against Roma and Lazio will take on Inter Milan. Finally in the German Bundesliga is Darmstadt against Wolfsburg, Mainz against Offenheim, Freiburg against Cologne, Sebuta Basbaya Leverkusen against Entrang Frankfurt, not forgetting Bayern Munich against VSB Stuttgart. This is where we call it to ramp on today's edition of Sports Trip. Keep listening to us on Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1. I am Oluji Midari Ogun saying stay sporty, stay LD. For me, 20.
traffic manager with the key for study for the show. To ninja, who bagashi to Ojenda, Lost and Waka, inside the Rema. I'm a two-bath in the traffic. I'm a two-bath in the traffic. I'm a two-bath in the traffic.